Hi boys and girls, this is Mr. Fox, and uh, here's a video on how to attach files into Google Classroom using your mobile device, such as a tablet or phone. So while we're in this distance learning, um, your assignments are going to be due and turned in through Google Classroom. Now I showed on previous videos how you can use your tablet or phone to fill out regular Google Docs or PDFs using Kami. In this video, in case you prefer to print out the sheets and you have the ink in a working printer and write on them, then this is going to show you how you can submit your work doing that. I will not take emails or, or search through a bunch of emails to find your work. I want it all put into Google Classroom so it's easier, easier for me to find and to give you feedback. So this is how you go about it. First of all, make sure you download the Google Classroom app from the App Store and then sign in with your school credentials. When it brings up your list of classes, select our science class or living environment class, so periods three, five, or seven for you guys, whichever one you're in, select it, and then find the assignment that you're going to attach your work to. In this demo here, we have these two column notes, so that's where I'm going to attach my files to, and I'm going to click on that and it's going to bring me to the general description of the assignment. Now I have to find the button that says add attachment. So I'm going to hit that arrow at the bottom that's going to bring up this menu and as you can see I have a digital copy of the assignment that I can choose to fill in with or I can add attachments. So that could be a picture, that could be a PDF, however it, is, however it is that you fill out the work. So if you're taking pictures of the hard copies or the paper printouts, then this is how I want you to submit it into Google Classroom. When you click on add attachment, it gives you a couple of options. First of all, I can upload a file or I could take a photo straight from this. Now remember, your phone might be different because this is a Google Pixel 2 and most of you have iPhones, so you're gonna have to figure out the interface on your own, but these capabilities are universal and should be able to be done no matter what type of phone that you have. So let's say I wanna take a picture while I'm here. I didn't take a picture prior, so what I can do is just click on take photo. And as I click on take photo, I'm gonna um, aim my camera at my work so I can clearly get all the work that I did in there and it's easy to read. And then take a picture of it. That's a good picture. I'm gonna be able to read everything that I need to be able to read when I check your work. So I'm gonna hit check mark on that and I'm gonna submit that. And that might take several seconds for it to load in as you can see it's spinning around and we're waiting for it to attach right now. Or, second of all, if you've already taken pictures of your work, then all you have to do is click on Add Attachment and then Upload File. So whichever, again, whatever icon on your interface is the Upload File, hit that one and it should bring you to your camera roll. And when you get to your camera roll, you're just gonna select the picture that you want to attach to Google Classroom. I think it only might do one at a time. I could be wrong, but um, you know that's what we're gonna do here. So I'm gonna select the second page of the notes that I had and I'm going to load them on and to and attach them to this assignment. So this too may take several seconds, uh, depending on your internet connection. And there it is. I have both pages of my notes handwritten and printed out attached to the Google Classroom. So now that I'm done with this assignment, I can hit turn in as you should do on all assignments that we uh, have to complete from here on out. So this way I know that it's done and then Submit it for work, and you're all set. Okay, so that's how you're going to attach files to Google Classroom in case you like to do the hard copy stuff. All right, hopefully you guys found that helpful. I'll talk to you soon.